Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna read you a story by one of my favorite authors, Ezra Jack Keats. And you might remember when we were in school and we read The Snowy Day. And Peter went outside and he put the snow into his pocket and he wanted to save the snow, but then he had to go back inside. He had to take a bath. He had to get warm. He had to go to bed and the snow melted. So Peter, he was dressed in red. If you remember, we did a little activity with him. Peter is still the same character in this book because it's the same author. So there's a connection from what we did in the winter to right now in the spring. This book is by the same author, Ezra Jack Keats, and it's the same character. The book is called Peter's Chair. I want to tell you before I start reading the book that I picked this for a special reason. Um, some of you this year had something really exciting happen when we were in school. Some of you became big brothers and big sisters for the first time ever. And it was something that we celebrated in class, but now that we're not in class, I want to celebrate somebody that that's happening to on tomorrow, on Friday. And um, also one more person that that will be happening to soon. So just to give you a little background about Peter's chair, I have on my board caretaker one and caretaker two. And I want you to think this might be your mom and your dad, or if grandma and grandpa take care of you. And this is you right here. That's you. And all of Caretaker 1's attention and all of Caretaker 2's attention goes to you. And that's fun. They watch you do things. They have time for you. They play with you. You guys can do whatever because their attention goes to you. What happens when a baby brother or baby sister show up And caretaker's attention has to go to you and baby brother or baby sister. That can make you feel kind of scared inside. Like, hey, what about me? You didn't forget about me, right? So that's kind of a scary feeling. Sometimes you get a little anxious. But I think that you'll realize, just like Peter realizes in the story, that the caretakers, mom and dad, grandma and grandpa, they still love you. They will still take care of you just the same. And you become a caretaker also. You become a leader for baby brother or baby sister. So we are celebrating. Jackson Hyder became a big brother this year and we celebrated with baby Luna. Anila was a big sister this year. We celebrated, she had baby Tyreek. Alex will become a big brother this year. And my friend Colton will become a big brother tomorrow. He will have his baby sister tomorrow. So Colton, this is for you. I kind of changed up the lesson plan because I thought you might could use this right now. So this is Peter's chair. Here's our title page. It says again, the author's name, Ezra Jack Keats, and this is Peter's chair. <clears throat> Peter stretched as high as he could. There, his tall building was finished. his mother. You'll have to play more quietly. Remember, we have a new baby in the house. And Peter might not be used to playing quietly. He hasn't had the baby in the house for a long time. Peter looked into Susie's room. His mother was fussing around the cradle. That's my cradle, he thought. And they have painted it Pink. Uh -oh. He 
think Peter might feel a little jealous. Hi, Peter, said his father. Would you like to help me paint sister's high chair? It's my high chair, whispered Peter. He saw his crib and muttered, my crib, it's painted pink too. And not far away stood his old chair. They didn't paint that yet, Peter shouted. He picked it up and ran to his room. And some of you might look at the dog here. This is Willie. He was from another Ezra Jack Keats story that we read, Whistle for Willie, um, when we were in our classroom. So that's his dog. Let's run away, Willie, he said. Peter filled a shopping bag with cookies and dog biscuits. We'll take my blue chair my toy crocodile, and a picture of me when I was a baby. Willie got his bone. And I can see Peter's face right here. He looks sad, maybe a little worried. They went outside and stood in front of his house. This is a good place, said Peter. He arranged his things very nicely, and he decided to sit in his chair for a while. But he couldn't fit in the chair. He was too big. So that was his chair, but that chair was for him when he was a little guy. He had grown up. His mother came to the window and called, Won't you come back to us, Peter, dear? We have something very special for lunch. Peter and Willie made believe they didn't hear, but Peter got an idea. Soon, his mother saw signs that Peter was home. That rascal is hiding behind the curtain, she said happily. And you can see his feet right here. She moved the curtain away, but he wasn't there. Here I am, shouted Peter. So he must have placed his shoes there to make it look like he was here. And he tricked her. He's over here. Peter sat in a grown-up chair. His father sat next to him. Daddy, said Peter, let's paint that little chair pink for Susie. I think he's thinking it might be all right to be a big brother after all because he's got a lot of important jobs now. He's a big brother. And they did. And check out Peter and his dad. He's not sitting in the chair anymore. He's making it into something for his little sister. He's a big brother. That's the last page and the end. I'm going to put it to the back cover of our story. And before I go, Colton McMahon and your whole family, I wish you well tomorrow. Um, I Good luck. I'm so happy for you, Colton. You're going to be a wonderful big brother, and I cannot wait to see pictures. School family, you may also wish Colton and his family well as they go have his baby sister tomorrow. Love you guys. Take care, and I will see you later.